lawful wedded husband. To be my... I found out myself what love is all about. Hey, everybody, it's me, Nikki. Hey, everybody, welcome to Ranching with Cardo. Before we get into what we're supposed to be talking about, which is them soaps, don't forget to hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell, so you can be notified about every great thing that's going on over here. And also check the description box down below, because while we talk in politics down to the general hospital, we will talk just a little bit of politic down to, you know, the channel, all right? Because the way they was talking about Drew's opponent, she sound like a certain man who run for president who got 34 felonies and all i'm saying is if they talk bad about her and talk real greasy hell she don't need to be in office maybe certain people shouldn't be in office either well it's not a maybe to that so hit the links in the description box down below vote.gov vote.org so you can be up to date about all the local elections the general elections, the primaries, and anything other election that's going on in your city to make sure you are registered to vote. Make sure you check that and make sure if you're able to vote, you know, depending on what your circumstances are. I don't know. I don't judge much. But hit those links in the description box down below. And also don't forget to keep up to date about all of the stuff going on. Just don't rely on, you know, mainstream media to keep you informed you know do your research and with that being said because somebody gonna have to do their research down there to the general hospital to see if drew or chelsea gonna win because it's about to get real messy now let's get into them soaps because like i told y'all i was right and i feel like somebody been watching my videos and taking my ideas and putting them on the show and all i'm saying is if you're gonna steal my stuff at least put me on the payroll okay some light not too much but i'm getting paid for my ideas that y'all taking because i've been said a few people need to come back and oh look at that they're back now i could be wrong it's probably already in the works but you know let me who cares i said it it happening put me on the payroll coach put me in the game but let's get into it. So, it's the 4th of July episode. We down to the quarter mains. We ain't seen this type of hype at the quarter mains in years. Okay? It's taking us back to the 70s and the 80s and the early 90s when we will all be down to the quarter mains having a good old time. Back when Lila was here and Edward and we had a butler and we had all the family members living up in here. Okay, it's taking me back to when Ned and Jenny got married and then uh, Jenny and Paul started their affair and then they got the sex tape of Jenny and the, you know, congressman, uh, congressman something or was a, it was a senator or congressman, Kensington. That's what I remember, girl. It was a mess back then. But we are here down to the quarter mains. Everybody's getting ready for the 4th of July. They are either listening or looking at the announcement that drew is running for congress now the congressman backs him up endorses him the girls are feeling drew they think he real sexy okay uh they think he pretty hot and tempting okay they don't <laughs> it's not giving old maiden shoes it's not giving none of that okay they're really into drew and i'm like somebody like it somebody somebody does so drew announces that he's running for congressman under the name drew quartermain and Tracy's like, um, I don't know how I feel about this because it's gonna leave us open to a whole bunch of scrutiny that the quartermains don't need. And I'm like, hell yeah, by the end of this, when I say I was right, I was right. It's gonna cause a whole lot of problems. It's smoke in the city. It's gonna be smoke in the city when it comes to this situation. But everybody's like, oh no, Drew's gonna do fine. Drew's gonna do amazing. He's this, he's that. Oh my God, he's great. He's great, he's great, he's great. And even though people are bringing up the fact that us, you know, the person who he's running against, she acts like a certain orange person with 34 felonies. Let that sink in. Somebody with 34 felonies is running for president of the these here United States, but felons can't vote. What type of sense does that make? It don't. Anyway, it's given that Chelsea is just like 
that person who is running so it's just like mm, you're gonna have to do a whole lot more you're gonna work have to work a whole lot harder the cheetah girl said you gotta dig a little deeper if you think you're gonna win so during the congressman as you know they roll up to the quarter main living room and behind them is nina and the congressman is telling them oh yeah nina got him into politics and had it not been for nina introducing us this wouldn't happen and that wouldn't happen and tracy turned to nina and said so getting him arrested for you know insider trading and sending him to prison wasn't enough now you got him to politics so oh you definitely want to ruin his life now and oh nina is just so upset she is so upset sam is in her feelings because drew didn't tell her personally that he was running for congress like he like if we remember correctly he talked to carly he talked to willow he talked to michael um he talked to curtis he talked to Jordan. He talked to a few other people about him running for Congress, but he and they knew. He announced at Willow's birthday party that he was running for Congress. He did that. He announced at her birthday party that he was running for Congress. And Sam didn't know. So Sam is in her feelings because Scout's name has been changed to Quartermain. Well, you knew this was going to happen one way or another because Kane was given to him by the state. Quartermain was always going to be his legal name and eventually he was going to claim it. Now, I'm not sure if you feel the way about her being a Quartermain and Danny's not a Quartermain, but let's be clear. Jason has not wanted anything to do with that name in a very long time. You have his shares. You have a portion of his shares, I believe. I don't know how many shares Jason owns now. Y'all probably need to go ahead and do a, a, a rethink or whatever look at the shares and how much everybody has and possibly start dividing them up again because it's too many grandchildren now well great grandchildren y'all need to figure that out anyway nina is doing all the world with me acting maybe i should go and oh everybody hates me and i'm i'm public and need to be number one and i'm so hated and willow is falling for it like she always does okay it's manipulation it's manipulation at its best and she's sitting up here boosting nina up and it's just like oh my god girl bad and then nina is boosting drew up and it's just like oh my god girl bad you and him rolling around like two two unseasoned uncooked chicken cutlets on the floor has made you really feel some type of way about this man in a good way you are starting to grow feelings with him but you let your vagina think for you which is not a good thing it's not i'm telling you now no good decisions were ever made when it comes to men when only thinking was the part that makes you happy no good decisions ever come from that but that's what nina is doing so we hold off on her and we get onto the heather weber subject of it all it was brought up by ned ned is a messy <laughs> ned is real messy okay and Mac is like, what situation? So Laura breaks it down. She had a hip replacement. She had cobalt poisoning. She had X, Y, and Z. And she may not be legally responsible for what she did. Okay? And we get we kick it on down to the stables. James and Cody, you know, they're talking. And James tells Cody, listen, I want you to be my big brother. Okay, all I got is sisters and I'm tired of them. I want you to be my big brother. And, you know, Cody's apprehensive for a while. And I was like, that's because you're his uncle anyway cody says you know i don't know how to be a brick brother and dante says you know he come in with um sam and he's like don't listen to him and he taught me how to do x y and z so i helped him do x y and z he knows how to be a big brother so cody agrees to be james's big brother they do a you know a spit shake on it that's nasty that's how you spread germs but go off miss girl i guess and now james has a big brother also, we talked about found family and how, you know, you and your family members can have different last names, but that means you were just meant to be and not forced to be together. Once again, the blood, uh, the blood of, of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb, which means you possibly have a better relationship, not even a better relationship. You probably have a stronger bond and a better well yeah a better relationship with your found family members and the people you choose rather than the ones that you are rather than the family you're born into so we still talking about heather 
And, you know, Portia walks off and Laura's defending Heather and her bum hip and Mac doesn't want to hear it. And it's just like, you can't defend her and her bum hip because Laura, I don't know what's going on with the writers, but people seem to forget that she was around in the 70s when she tried to send Diana on that LSD trip and ended up getting sent herself because little Steven Lars is playing with the Lazy Susan. We're not going to forget that she was around when she popped up. Were you around when she popped up and unalived uh, Diana? Yeah, you were. Girl, quit playing with me. I mean, you might have been on the run that summer, but you were there. Tracy tells Drew, you know, you changing your last name is cool and all. Uh, Quartermain support Quartermain, so you got my vote. And also, my brother Alan would be very proud of you. And I would have loved to see an interaction with Alan and Drew, even if it was like a dream sequence, but the actor um, passed away. But I, I love when he popped up because it would always be like with him, Monica, and Tracy and having to remind Tracy that this is Monica's house. Alan gave it to her. Georgie and Mac. Um, oh, before we get to Georgie and Mac, Nina singing Drew's praises to Sasha, which allows Sasha to deduce that you and that man have been having sex. But we continue. So Georgie and Mac come down there to get James so they go to the fireworks. And James is singing Cody's praises and Mac is singing Cody's praises. So it's just like, oh my God, it's such a great time. Cody, tell this man that you is you tell this man that you are his son and that he is your papa. Laura apologizes to Felicia. You know, Felicia is very much understanding. Portia tells Laura all she wants to know, all she wants is assurance that you are not trying to get Heather released and that she's gonna stay in prison. Girl, please. Sam says she wants to yell at Drew, but she won't. And that he and Jason are the same. And it's just like, well, you decided to keep it in the family. You married one brother, ended up marrying the other one after you thought he was the first brother. But then you made the active decision to marry him and stay married to him. You had a child by him. You're talking about keeping it in the family. Your children are sister and brother, but they're also cousins. Huh, first cousins at that, because their daddies are brothers. At the end of the day, Sam made her choice. She decided to do what she do. You would have a slew of more kids. You would have a slew of more children had they not offed, well, that's the, it's not the right verbiage. Had the writers not killed off Lila, baby Lila, during that time. And you probably would have had some kids with, you know, Lucky had you been able to have kids at the time listen she like the judge she like the judge and she's all they're the same they don't want to be around there it's not a situation of they don't want to be around their kids you take two men who let's be real probably never thought they would see the day where they had children him working for the mob and drew in the marines probably never thought they'd see the day where they had their own children and this is not an excuse for them not being around like they should but you decided to have children with these men take some responsibility maybe y'all need to start vetting these men better just being honest just being real honestly in real life outside the soaps please vet y'all partners better if you're going to decide to have children if you're going to decide to produce you know offspring please for the love of all things in the world vet your partners better because i don't want to hear y'all complaining about the people y'all had children with unless the person like you vetted them and they was really cool people and y'all really got along well and y'all loved each other and y'all decided to have a kid and you know a few years down the line they just switched up on you out of nowhere then i could see it but other than that if they always been on that itch then they gonna be on that ish she knew what this was and Dante tells her, listen, I don't know why you worried about Jason or Drew. Get it together. Because at the end, uh, get it together. Because at the end of the day, when the press starts questioning you, you're going to have to say something more than no comment. And she's like, oh, I don't have to say anything. But it's honestly like you're going to have to say everything because they're going to dig into you and the fact that you and Drew were married and they're going to talk real greasy about you. And then they're going to dig into your past on how you was a con woman who spent a few, a uh, couple times in jail for, you know, Rastarushin. Okay. Yeah. They're going to get you for that. And a slew of other things you did. Come on now. Be honest. And also, 
because I don't want to, you know, wait on it. Dante told her, listen, don't worry about, don't worry about Jason. Don't worry about Drew. At the end of the day, Danny and Scout live with us. And I think we're a great family unit and I'm here. Okay. This is the man you want. This is the man you want to be with. Quit playing these games, Sam. Quit playing these games where they wake Lulu up and have her snatch her man back up off you. Because you're too worried about two men who are no longer with you. Let it go. Let it go. Let God do all the great things you know you can do. Just let it go. Let it go. Like I said, Sasha deduced that Nina was rolling around naked with Drew at some point. And Nina confirms it. And the way you get to Drew and Willow, they're talking like ultra close. Like they're sitting on the couch like way too close. And it's giving y'all about to kiss. And Sasha is trying to talk Nina out of, you know, her mess with Drew. But Nina is singing his praises and is doing this woe is me. And oh, he's a good man, Savannah. And then we see more of Drew and Willow. They're still on the couch too close to each other. And they're flirting. She was like, you know, I just want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to work with the whatever the hell the place is she working at. Okay, it's something to do with Aurora Media. And, you know, it gives me time to be dressed up more and it's going to be out of, like less time in scrubs more time dressed up and he was like well you would have won a beauty contest get away from that man okay that is your uncle by marriage that is your husband's uncle get the away from him but no they don't listen they don't listen mac tells cody about his time in australia and they reminiscing and mac says you know because Cody asked why he stayed away for so long. Is it because, you know, you wanted to be back in Australia? And he was like, no, I had to honor a commitment that I made years ago. <laughs> you know, had to do some light. Had to do some light. You know, I honor my commitments. And at the end of the day, he did make a commitment. He did make a promise to Frisco. And he went and helped Frisco like so like that. Like I told y'all, Sam is complaining about the men she married and the choices she made. And Dante let her know, listen, we are family unit over here. I'm going to hold you down. Don't even worry about it. The congressman um, and Tracy talked to Monica. Monica, we haven't seen her in, I think, about a year on our screens. And she's laid up. And we find out that the congressman has lung cancer. And I'm going to tell y'all this now. As a person who's seen it firsthand of what cancer does to someone from multiple family members, just get your physicals get your regular checkups if you don't have insurance try to apply for some um i know there's some places that will give you some free physicals just do what you can to make sure you you keep up to date with your health and you know the congressman and the quarter main family like they old friends so you know him and tracy are reminiscing about old times and she's like look you and your wife should come over for dinner you know a couple weeks from now and he's like listen i may be six feet under by then and she's like listen i send you a nice platter to the fume so everybody out there watching the fireworks oh fireworks are happening yay cody at this time as him and mac are outside watching the fireworks outside of the stables decides to blurt out to act that you is my pappy a mess Laura is talking to Portia and she was like, well, you diagnosed her. And Portia says, yeah, reluctantly. I was reluctantly worked on the team, but I was doing what I had to do because I took the oath to do no harm. Okay, I did no harm. But now you about to do harm. Okay, you about to do harm. Stop on your head. Okay, I took the oath to do no harm, but I cannot be remiss to be like, why would I want this person out of prison when she spent a good part of her year or the past like couple years tormenting my daughter because her only goal was to unalive my daughter. Quit playing with me, Laura. Quit playing with me. Laura's a hypocrite. At the end of the day, you so willingly brought the brother back into the fold who ultimately put your daughter in a coma for however long she's going to be in there. Stop playing these games. Curtis is trying to bring peace between Michael and Nina because they're going to be working together with Drew running for Congress. And it's just like, I'm going to just tell y'all now, I see where this is going. Because let me tell y'all where this is going. So Willow and Drew, they on the wall talking to each other. She's leaning up against the wall and he's standing in front of her and they're talking and they're flirting. And she's like, you know, 
I love that you're running for Congress, but I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you so much. And they get real close. And I know what happens when people get this close, okay? The best kiss I've seen so far on ABC would be between Tommy and Buck. And I feel like the next best kiss I'm going to see on ABC is going to be between uh, Buck and Eddie. But when Buck was like, my sister said, I talk too much. And Tommy went, oh, okay we kissing okay and it's like well it was better than the fake mouth static oh yes and then the kiss down to the hospital but baby they start kissing and they slipping they tongue kissing it's all nasty kids i said ew y'all nasty get your lives in order but that ain't gonna happen so they're kissing and sasha catches them i said oh hell this is about to be smoke in the city but like i said i already saw where this was going and i feel like they gonna keep this up and they gonna be sneaking and geeking all summer the only people they really do have to worry about is two people who live in the garage apartment seeing them sneaking and geeking across you know the driveway um but when nina finds out i feel like nina is going to try to seduce michael as a way to get back at willow it's nasty all of this is nasty but i think that's what's gonna happen and with that being said check the description box down below uh for the links to vote.gov and vote.org check that out keep yourself up to date make sure you're registered to vote and all my other links that are down there great stuff down there also don't forget to hit the subscription button and turn on uh hit the notification bell and turn on your notifications so you can be updated about all the great things going on over here and with that being said i'll have no more for y'all i'll see y'all later bye <laughs>